everybody. I'm going to make this one real quick. My battery's going to run out. Uh, I have a quick box opening. Opening? A quick box opening. Um, but as I do that, it's sort of going to address a question that I've gotten, which is, how do I store my tobacco? So there's a couple different ways that I do it. Uh, and it's, this is more for beginners who might be getting into this wonderful hobby. So without further ado, first, since it is tobacco that I bought, we shall open that. Oh, KJ Pipes. All right, here we go. Okay, so here's where I always have a weakness. Uh, recently, I started smoking Orlick uh, Dark Strong Kentucky, and it's fantastic. So I went on to a website, Pipes and Cigars, and I saw I was just going to buy one, maybe two tins, and then I see what I hate seeing, something that says, limit five tins only. You cannot buy more than five. Supply is limited. Only can buy a maximum of five. And then I see that and I go, oh crap, I was only going to buy one or two. But now it's so uh, limited, I might as well just get five. So I went out and got five tins of the stuff. So that's going to sit there and age and uh, it's only going to taste better with age uh, because it has uh, Virginias and stuff in there, which is very good. And then I went and got some bulk tobacco by one of my favorite uh, tobacco blenders, uh, tobacco companies, McClelland. And this one is an aromatic that I thought I'd give a shot. It's called Chocolate Cream. So we shall see how this goes. But anyway, the topic of this video, how do I store tobaccos? Tobacco usually comes in basically three forms, okay? It's going to come in a bag, it's going to come in a tin, or it's going to come in a little, uh, well, I guess you'd call that a tin too, but uh, as opposed to one of these tins. So for one of these, what I usually do, uh, well, the, the preferred method that I prefer is if you can, put everything into a jar, airtight mason jar. Um, I do that mostly with loose tobaccos like this. So I will pour this all out into here, or you could just sit and put that inside there. Um, the reason why is a lot of baggies will leak air or uh, have air transfer and it can dry out the bulk stuff. So I usually will put those in there. Stuff like this keeps a little longer, I've noticed, but just to be safe, you could take a Ziploc baggie and put that inside. That's what I usually do. And then you seal that up nice and tight. And while it's not, you know, you can't, you, I wouldn't say store years like this. Uh, once these have been opened, even inside a, a Ziploc baggie, they can still dry out. But this is just sort of a double uh, protection, helps prolong the life of an open tin in case you don't have an airtight jar. Uh, these. Actually, for me, my experience, these have stayed pretty moist inside uh, these kinds of uh, containers. Um, I usually don't jar these once I open them just because the seal is nice and tight. But you're, you can always put those inside a mason jar as well. I usually don't. Um, but occasionally, like this is my Frogmorton cellar, it's starting to get a little bit dry. It's probably been open for almost two years. So that's pretty good. Uh, and then I can just always uh, rehydrate it by putting in a, um, some distilled water. And in fact, I'll put a link to that video uh, somewhere over here, maybe. Do some fancy editing uh, where I rehydrate uh, some tobacco. All right, that's it. That's what I do. That's how I store my tobacco. And um, works for me. Hopefully it helps you out. If you have any other questions, let me know. And we will talk to you later.